This is the story of a homecoming, the homecoming of one of New Zealand's leading architects, and this is the story of that homecoming. Robert Lawson was born in 1833 here in the rolling hills of Fife outside Newborough. Raised by devout Presbyterian parents, by all accounts he was a good student at school. When he went out to work, he went as an apprentice architect to Hayton and Hayton Architects in nearby Perth. The Scotland of the 19th century was a vibrant society in the middle of a civic building boom. The young Lawson was drawn to the Edinburgh of Playfair. He continued his architectural training under James Gillespie Graham, amongst others. Absorbing the confidence of the building styles of the Athens of the North, it would be clear in his later designs, Lawson honed his keen eye for detail during his time in Edinburgh. Then, like thousands of Scots before, in 1854, Lawson, a single man, took passage to Melbourne, Australia. He spent eight years there working in gold mines before making the move to Dunedin, New Zealand. Dunedin at that time was a magnet for Scots travelling to that part of the empire. Lawson was able to connect with the Scots Presbyterian congregation already there. He set himself up in an architectural practice and was quickly able to establish himself as an architect of note. Over the next 28 years, Lawson created some of New Zealand's iconic buildings. Of the 45 churches he designed, the first church of Otango is held by many to be his finest. For many Scots, it will be reminiscent of St Paul's Cathedral Dundee. Equally, Dawson's commercial buildings like the Bank of Otanga here often reflected the Scottish influence. The comparison with Ryan's commercial bank Edinburgh, now Royal Bank of Scotland, St Andrew's Square, is striking. However, in over 260 known contracts, Lawson designed a variety of structures which defined Dunedin as the most prosperous city in the then colony of New Zealand. But Scotland was never far away. Two years after arriving in Dunedin, Robert Lawson had married Jessie Hepburn. Jessie had been born in Kirkcaldy, less than 30 kilometres from Robert's birthplace of Grange of Lindores. Reverend Stuart, the minister who married them, had been at primary school with Robert. When they had a son, he was named James Newborough Lawson as a recognition of this Fife history. Newborough is the nearest town to Grange of Lindores. This tradition would last for the next two generations of Lawsons. How do we know all this? In 2006, a visitor from New Zealand, Neville Peat, walked into the Lang Museum looking for some family history about the Lawson family. He told us the story of Robert Lawson, the architect. Over the years, we collaborated with family histories, photographs, piecing together the picture, a Kiwi architect with Fife roots. Then, one day in 2013, a parcel arrived addressed to the Friends of the Lane. It was a handsome large format book entitled R. A. Lawson, Victorian Architect of Dunedin. It told the story of Robert Lawson in words, pictures and buildings. A Scot from Fife who travelled to the other side of the Commonwealth to make his name, to have his influence. His story has come home. There are more.